Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is going to be a December 12th to the 13th um, Taurus reading. And of course, there's a whole bunch of Tauruses out there, so this is not going to be every single Taurus story, okay? Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energies. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with, okay? Let's do two more shuffles for Taurus. December 12th to the 13th. I'm going to do two, three cards for you, three cards for your person. And you could always resonate more with the left one or the right one. You take your pick, okay? And then I have um, two other decks I will use for love. And then the Rebel deck, that one's kind of straight up and blunt. So just like trigger alert, okay? Um, it's, it can it kind of delivers the messages kind of harsh sometimes, okay? So just, just throwing that out there. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, Taurus, we have the Seven of Cups here. Um, you might have clouded thinking in regards to somebody who's trying to offer you love or somebody that is very loving towards you and very empathic very nurturing and with the emperor here you could be like a baby daddy um uh you could be dealing with the baby daddy you could be a baby daddy or for some reason i felt like i was talking to a masculine taurus but um regardless uh you could also be dealing with someone that is a manager or you you know if you're like the queen in this case here you know you might have a lot of love to give um give your person for instance but you know with the emperor you've learned to gain control of yourself so you're not just about a you know, hit this person up because the Queen of Cups is someone who loves, but she loves with boundaries, you know? So let's take a look. Taurus, December 12th to the 13th. Okay, we have you trying to make a decision about a brand new opportunity in regards to a commitment. Okay, the Three of Pentacles here, you could be dealing with an Earth sign because we have all Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or any sign for that matter, right? But here we have the, um, can't even hold these, right? <laughs> okay, Two of Pentacles, right? Then we have the um, Ace of Pentacles and the, well, my wrist could just bend, um, and the um, and the Three of Pentacles, okay? So so to me, this is, if you add them all up, right, it's the Six of Pentacles, um, or Five of Pentacles, sorry. So I feel like you could be a, a distance, uh, separated from somebody, I'm sorry. Um, you could be separated from somebody, Taurus, here, that you may be, they could be giving you the cold shoulder. You guys could just be physically separated. You could be um, separated from them or there's some sort of block here. But I feel like you're debating on whether or not to offer or to receive, right? Take that how it resonates. Because Three of Pentacles here has a lot to do with teamwork. You, them, and, and God working together as a team, you know, in a partnership. It could also be a business partnership. It doesn't just have to be a relationship. So I feel like you're debating. Let's take a look at your person here. Two of Wands. Three of Swords, Nine of Cups. So maybe, um, I feel like this person could have had their heart broken. Uh, so in the mutual energy here, both of you guys, okay? Both of you guys are confused, okay? Um, both of you guys might might um, hold, hurt each other in regards to material items. You know, where it's kind of like you're not afraid to kind of, it's this energy where it's like one-up each other. Uh, I don't know who it is that you're dealing with that is like that, Taurus, but with the Seven of Swords here, you know, there's some shady, you know, stuff going on in this Twin Flame connection. Some of you guys are dealing with Twin Flame. Um, some of you guys are dealing with, like, a marriage um, or just a long-term relationship, okay? But there's some shady stuff going on there. Um, two of Cups. Yeah, but it looks like here your person is wanting, you know, even though your person could have had got their heart broken, you know, they could be getting their heart broken on December 12th to the 13th because, um, you know, something that they're wanting and, you know, they could be trying to offer you something. You could also be getting uh, debating about a job, but with the two of cups here, I feel like your person, they're just wanting to be with you. Okay. So what is this three of swords for Taurus? Look at that. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Five of pentacles, guys. Five of pentacles on top of the... So now that's ten of pentacles together, okay? So there's there's a family here, okay? Because ten has a lot to do with family. So some of you guys have a family or kids or, you know, take it how it resonates. But there's someone that is, look, how can I? They're looking away. They feel left out from the partnership. I'll break it down why um, Spirit wanted to talk about that first. So I wanted to find out about the three swords, but we'll find out about that first. So why? Why does your person feel left out from trying to offer you an opportunity? Um, I mean, maybe it's because your indecisiveness is kind of turning this person off, to be honest with you, Taurus. So, oh, 
I guess five of pentacles. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you're not, you're doing a lot of introspection. Um, and it could be because you're not sure about whether or not you want to pursue this person in a long-term commitment. Um, but again, I feel like this is mutual. This is both of you guys that are kind of on pause. What is the four of swords for Taurus, December 12th to the 13th? There you go. Yeah. See, with the Ace of Cups upside down, Taurus, you might feel like um, it just won't work. With these Ace of Cups here upside down, for some reason you're feeling like you guys are not compatible or this person doesn't love themselves, so they make it difficult for you. Uh, let's see what this Three of Swords is. That's the only card I want to clarify here. Um, so what is that Three of Swords for Taurus, this person, December 12th to the 13th? So your person could be heartbroken because you're very prideful or you're in the public eye. Or you're receiving a lot of attention right now. And so then with the Wheel of Fortune upside down, their past wrongdoings are coming back to haunt them. Talk about karma, right? Um, so Taurus, this is a loss of momentum. With the Wheel of Fortune upside down, that means the past comes back to haunt them. And why is that? I feel like it's kind of like, what is the Wheel of Fortune upside down, please, for Taurus's per? Thank you. Yeah, I was going to say, I feel like someone feels like they're they're getting left out. Like, let's say, for instance, you decided to pursue an acting career and maybe you got chosen and you got accepted. And now this person feels like they feel left out. Theft, embezzlement. I got robbed. This person stole from me. You know, that's how they're feeling about you for some reason with the three of swords here. It's like they're hurt that you're on your high horse, um, that you have, you know, a sense of value. You know, and so then with this nine of pentacles upside down, they feel like they, they, you stole from them. See, so that could have been the shadiness going on here with that one up energy with that seven of cups here. So what is this eight of cups upside down for Taurus, December 12th to the 13th? The musician card. Okay, so you might not be feeling like you're able to have a partnership with this person because they keep trying to use manipulation with the musician card upside down. And to so you feel like, you know, how are we going to have this relationship when you can't even like be real with me? You have to keep trying to manipulate the situation, keep trying to control the situation. And look at that. It just makes things harder for them because you're recognizing, you know, like this person could be like one of your biggest fans, for instance. Like this person is trying to it's like this energy of this person is like doesn't want you to leave them behind. So Taurus, December 12th to the 13th. What is that 10 of wands, nine of cups? Thank you. The nine of pentacles. Okay, so they feel like for them that they want you, right? But they feel like the nine of pentacles is the slowest night in the deck, okay? So they feel like it's gonna be forever, okay? The nine of pentacles is someone who, it's very slow and underestimated by most people, so they have to put in more work. So I feel like that's how your person is feeling here, like... This is so hard. It's never going to work. You know, I have to prove myself to them. And in actuality, I feel like they just need to switch their perspective. Okay. Um, I feel like it's people that are putting like unnecessary pressure or they're just feeling like they have unnecessary pressure. Like they're just, they're putting that pressure on themselves. And it's like not necessary. Um, for this person, hang my upside down before I continue. Any more messages? Yeah, Page of Pentacles. So once they start to shift their perspective, Taurus, and get over this doomsday mentality, I feel like things will, um, they are going to reach out to you, okay? But this just this week, I feel like they're overthinking. They're, they're feeling like you're leaving them behind, Taurus. So, um, and especially with that Wheel of Fortune, it's like, what have I done? You know, all my past wrongdoings. Well, their past wrongdoings, not mine, um, are coming back to haunt them. So you could also be dealing with, well, that's about, I didn't really get any major comments, to be honest with you. So let's do the Rebel deck, like I said, December 12th to the 13th, Taurus. Another shuffle, Taurus, December 12th to the 13th. Last one, Taurus, December 12th to the 13th. Okay, it says, whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the effing time. Yeah. 
Yeah, I feel like you might be wanting to start a relationship with this person, but I feel like because they don't love themselves, Taurus, they're always trying to use manipulation. And it's like, you know, you can't, what is not built on a firm foundation will crumble. Okay, so you have to make sure, just right now is not the time. Like this card said, right now is not the time. Um, I feel like right now they're going through a lot of, um, like in their mind, they're like, oh no, I lost this person forever. And, and, but that's, it's not, it, that's not the truth. I just feel like they're thinking like, uh, like tomorrow or the next day, they're going to start to be like, oh, well, now that I stop being so dramatic, this is just really, really hard. <laughs> you know, it's just a really, a huge challenge. Okay. And, um, here we got one card. Um, it says, uh, don't stop. Don't check on that person. Just stop. Don't text. Uh, spend your time on someone worth it. Don't waste it on ridiculousness. Yeah, if they're being ridiculous, stay in your lane. Stay in your lane, okay? It seems like you are being shady. Watch out. Um, things could get ugly. Mmm. Just be careful, guys. And then let's do... Um, I'll do these ones. So, Taurus. I'll do these last. Taurus, December 12th to the 13th. So right now is not the time, okay? Don't don't check on them, don't stalk them, don't they need to kind of be in this funk right now so that you know they can just I guess their past is coming back up and they feel robbed. So the 12th to the 13th Taurus, last shuffle. Yeah, see breakup, stop the pattern. You guys could have broke up right now or be in separation. Like I said, with that five of pentacles, there's some sort of distance. You see here we have clock. So this, you guys could have been going in cycles where you guys were mirroring each other. Um, there was a need to have boundaries in the relationship because you guys were kind of stringing each other along here with the keys on a ring. Maybe telling each other, you know, pretty things that you want to hear, things you want to believe. But it was kind of stringing along. Somebody had a lot of options. And you guys are mirroring each other here. Wedding rings. Um... You guys are entering this phase of union, but I feel like it's it's inner union first, and then it'll, you know, um, it'll manifest in the external. But first, it's in the internal, okay? So first, internal union, and then external union. And then we have the twin flame card. Like I said, some of you guys are dealing with twin flames. Here at the bottom of the deck, we have ascending, okay? So there's going to be a lot of obstacles, um, uh, you know, learning new phases and preparing for union. That's the phase you guys are in. Preparing for union, okay? Right now, uh, they kind of have to be in this funk though, all right? So, Taurus, December 12th to the 13th. One more second. I'm going to do it again because that one sucked. <laughs> December 12th to the 13th, Taurus. Thank you. So many things remind me of you. December 12th to the 13th, Taurus. Okay, that one says, uh, I hope that you could forgive me one day. Yep. Number 12 to the 13th. Oops. Okay. I regret lying to you. I feel you leaving me behind. You see, that's the, the one I'm feeling the most. The, the, I know. I don't know. It's like agonizing and it's like unnecessary. And then we have, we need to let each other go upside down. That's what you guys need to do for now, okay? Let each other go, inner union, and then you guys can come together. But right now, um, just this person is having like this epiphany, this, oh no, what have I done? I feel you leaving me behind. And well, I mean, they put themselves in a rock in a hard place. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close it out here. If this helped you guys out in any way, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.